Big Soap cuts corners and strips out all the sudsy goodness in order to make production cheaper. First, I'm going to have you read our competitors and just go ahead and give that a shot. Big Soap cuts corners and strips out all the sudsy goodness in order to make production cheaper. First, I'm going to have you read our competitors and just go ahead and give that a shot. Big Soap cuts corners and strips out. Ah, uh, phrasal verb. Cuts corners. Great phrase. And strips out. Strips out. Big soap cuts corners and strips out all the sudsy goodness and or big soap cuts corners and strips out all the sudsy goodness and strips out all the sudsy goodness and all the sudsy goodness and all the sudsy goodness. And yeah. So strips out new phrasal verb for almost all of you. I'm sure all of you. Sudsy, probably a new word for almost all of you. All the sudsy goodness in order to make production. In order to. So the word two has how many pronunciations? Seven. Uh, we got uh, ta da ta da t d and two, and these are absolutely the most common, and these are the most 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 common. Okay, and that's what we have here. In order to d, that's going to be a d d sound. Okay, and that's what we hear is a d. Okay, typically if this is a vibrated er is vibrated. Then the T here is going to be vibrated. D, d, d is a vibrated sound. If it's uh, uh, aspirated, it's typically going to be a T sound, okay? Not always, but usually that's the case. All the sudsy goodness in order to make production All the sudsy goodness in order to make production cheaper. Production cheaper. All the sudsy goodness in order to make production cheaper. First, I'm going to have you read. First, I'm going to have you read. First, first I'm going to have you read. First, I'm going to. First, I'm going to. First, I'm going to have you read. I'm going to, I'm going to, first, I'm going to have you read. Now I've talked about, I'm gonna, and we have several pronunciations of I'm gonna. So perfect pronunciation is I'm going to, then we go fast and we say, I'm gonna, it's actually going to be, I'm gonna, then we go faster and we say, I'm gonna. Then we go faster. We say, "Ang, ang, na." Then we go faster and we say, uh, "Ama." Yeah, I guess that's right. So five stages of pronunciation. I'm going to. Perfect. I'm gonna. Most common. I'm gonna. Most common. I'm gonna. Very common. I would say number one, and these are probably tied for number two, maybe. Anna, mm, we say it. Ama, it's pretty common nowadays. So I want you to listen. Which one did he say? First, I'm gonna have you. First, I'm gonna have you read. First, I'm gonna have you read. First, I'm. First, I'm gonna have you. Read. I'm gonna have you 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 read. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Absolutely, this one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have you read. I'm gonna have you read. I'm gonna have you read. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have you read. 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 Our competitor. Now, our. He said our up here. What did he say here? I'm gonna have you read. Our competitors. I'm gonna have you read. Our competitors. R, absolutely R. So the same guy, here he said our, emphasize our, but here casual R, our competitors, our competitors, 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 competitors. I'm going to have you read our competitors and just go. Oh, and by the way, um, is that correct or not? That's my question. Put your answer on box. Is this correct or not? That's my question. Is that correct or not? All right. Put your answer on box. I'm going to have you read our competitors and just go ahead and. Our competitors and just. Our competitors and just. He stops. Our competitors and just go ahead. I'm going to have you read our competitors and just go ahead and give that a shot. Go ahead and give that a shot. Go, go ahead, ahead and, and give that a shot. Go ahead 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 and give that a shot. Give that a shot. Give that a, give that a, give that a, 
Give that a shot. Give that a shot. Okay? That's it. Two times. Big soap. And this is once again. And we should use a big S here. Uh, Actually, we should use a big S. You don't have to, but I do recommend a big S. Uh, It means the corporations, the big corporations, the name brands, the brand name soaps. Okay? All the big companies. Big soap. The big companies. Cut corners. And when we cut corners, the idea is if we're going someplace, so this is the street, all right, and this is an intersection, and uh, the idea is we are right here, and our goal is to go here, so we should go, and then boom, we're there, right? But if you cut corners, you're doing this, okay? And this is cheating. And sometimes it's not legal. Sometimes it means you're playing with money or you're not using high quality ingredients. You're doing something that's probably not right. That's the idea of cutting corners in business, okay? Um, So Big Soap cuts corners, and strips out all of the sudsy goodness in order to make production cheaper. So if you want to make really good soap, you have to use quality, high-quality ingredients. None of the cheap stuff. If you want it to smell like oranges, well, then you actually need oranges, essential oil from oranges. But that's expensive. To make essential oil is not a cheap process. It's it's an expensive process. But these big companies, they just mix some chemicals together to make a synthetic orange smell. It smells just like orange. And they put that in the soap. So the real oranges is where natural, it's actually good, okay? And these these natural essential oils will actually get into your skin and that's good the chemicals maybe not so good right this is what they're saying so instead of using real ingredients to make the smell to make the quality they use chemical synthetic ingredients they're cutting corners okay they'll say orange smell right but it's not real orange Uh, And they do that to make production cheaper. So a regular bar of soap is $7, but if you buy a name brand soap, it's $2 or $3. Much cheaper because they're using chemicals. The guy goes to another guy. First, I'm going to have you read our competitions. I'm sorry, our competitors and just go ahead and give that a shot. So he's holding something. What is he holding? Ingredients. So, yeah, we're missing a word here, right? Our competitors' ingredients. That would be perfect. And I asked you, is this apostrophe S okay? And we could simply say, read our competitors. That is actually possible, just noun plural. But this one or this one is better. Competitors, this would be several companies, Dial, Dove, uh, Irish Spring, several different companies' soaps, and they have different ingredients, right? So read our competitors, and then apostrophe, ingredients. Uh, in this case, I just put it as one. Read our competitors, one competitors. And once again, we should have the word ingredients. Ingredients right here would be perfect, okay? Adding the word ingredients would be perfect. So these two are the best. Um, either is fine. I understood it as one competitor, but maybe there are several on that piece of paper. I don't know. So anyway, uh, I'm going to have you read our competitors list of ingredients and just go ahead and give that a shot. Try and read it. And they start hydrogenated tallow acid. Penta erythritha. Penta sodium. Pe- Big Soap cuts corners and strips out all the sudsy goodness in order to make production cheaper. First, I'm going to have you read our competitors and just go ahead and give that a shot. 
Big Soap cuts corners and strips out all the sudsy goodness in order to make production cheaper. First, I'm going to have you read our competitors and just go ahead and give that a shot.